Ellie is on benefits, which means that she has to do a certain amount of job searching, otherwise her income from her benefits will be reduced. She doesn't have internet and her local library is closed, so to do this she has to get the bus to the library in the town nearby. She had to wait longer than normal for the bus this morning because the number of bus services has been reduced. This meant that she didn't have time to go to the big supermarket before picking Lily up from school. As she stands in the fruit and vegetable aisle of her local supermarket, her hand hovering over a pack of apples, she thinks about the heating bill that's due next week. She picks up her basket and heads to the checkout. The apples can wait till next week. The 2008 economic recession had a severe impact on economies globally and many countries, including the UK, adopted austerity policies in a response to the budget deficits caused by this recession. UK austerity policies involved wide-ranging reductions in government and local council expenditure and considerable changes to the benefits and welfare systems. These changes may have affected the amount of money that people have to spend on food and also affected food provision and food access. However, evidence regarding the impact of changes in council spending and welfare reform on diets and health in the UK is limited. So my PhD aims to address this gap. I'm going to review the impact of the 2008 recession and austerity policies on food intakes and food insecurity. Now food insecurity is um, the disruption of food intake and eating patterns due to a lack of money and other resources. Some research has been done in this area, but I'm going to systematically review it, which will help make conclusions on it. Secondly, I'm going to investigate how reductions in local council spending and changes in local council spending due to austerity have impacted the foods that people buy. While evidence um, at the moment suggests that austerity may coincide with an increase in food bank use for the low income people in society. My research will be the first to look at food intakes in the general population. Thirdly, I'm going to investigate how changes in local council spending due to austerity have affected health outcomes, particularly vitamin and nutrient deficiencies. The cost of malnutrition in England is estimated to be £19.6 billion per year. And hospital admissions for malnutrition have increased since 2010, but there hasn't been research that sees whether austerity plays a role in this. So currently the evidence in this area is underdeveloped. To help people like Ellie and understand impacts on her, we need scientific research that establishes the relationship between austerity policies and diet and health outcomes.